What does high score mean? New high score, is that bad? What does that mean? Does I break it? Hello everyone and welcome to Veteran Gaming. I am Aaron and tonight we're going to be talking about Eternal Evolution and more specifically the most recent Rise of Heroes event for Old John, the latest Terran and a long line of old Terran dudes trying to get into the fight. Uh, other than Daniel, I guess he's the only one that I would still consider spry. Um, but yeah, all the chicks are like these young hot things and uh, all the dudes, well I guess just Bailey and old John now, uh, are, uh, are over the hill. But hey, they're still in the fight so I respect that. So if you're new to Eternal Evolution, you're going to get these Rise of Heroes events which are incredibly important events because they're not only going to gift you essentially... Uh, a hero that you can get up to immortal pretty easily, but there's a lot of other rewards that you can earn. So just real quick on the strategy, we want to go ahead and sweep every single day as much as we can. We're going to sweep all of normal to get up to the hard node. Then we're going to make sure we sweep the hard node every single day. And we are going to sweep the highest, or really, I guess, any of the normal modes as many times as possible to include purchasing every single ticket we can with the diamonds and then we're just going to sweep as much as possible to get as many shots at the bosses as we can and you are going to hit a limit every day but that's totally fine we're going to jump into the boss challenge here and i'm going to give you a little bit of guidance on the boss challenge also so we have normal hard hell and purgatory you cannot go uh, into purgatory until you at least clear hell so it's pretty much the exact same turbine as you see in the guild hunt the one thing that we want to focus on here is that the damage from the fire barrage the aoe attack is going to prioritize summons so i recommend if you're having trouble with the damage try to put in a team of summoners i believe i have uh do we want to just go with damage Let's just see. I'm going to play around here a little bit just to show you. Uh, I'm also going to try a hunter team, like a single target damage, and see how that works uh, later. But I want to see if we can one-shot the uh, purgatory boss, which I have not been able to do in the past. So let's go ahead and throw in... Where are you at? Yeah, we want you. And then let's go to our summoners. Uh, let's throw in Daniel. Let's get you out and you and you, maybe. Let's see if Masrani can still tank at the hell boss level. I don't have a summoner one, so we'll just throw in our highest. Uh, again, no tanks, so we'll just throw in something that's going to give us the highest flat bonus. And then we are going to want the good old flashpoint to get some shield action. All right. Let's see how this does against the hell boss, and then we're gonna try this on purgatory. See if we can one shot it, uh, and if we can't, we'll try with some hunters in the tank. Maybe the thing that we want to remember is you're gonna want to get down purgatory at least once if it's reasonable. If it's gonna take you ten attempts, then purgatory isn't going to be worth it. But I'll show you uh, the math here when I get through everything. Um, but getting purgatory down once is gonna give you 100 raffle tokens which is going to be worth it. Oh man, we absolutely smashed through that. So hopefully we can get Purgatory down. I'll show you real quick. Uh, once this loads up, because I've already done this on my free-to-play account, uh, so you can see the exact math. So here we go, Purgatory. Once it's unlocked, the very first win is going to get you 100 of these tokens. But once you've already defeated it the first time, the boss challenge purgatory is only going to give you 25 whereas hell gives you 20 so unless you can one shot purgatory mode there's no benefit to doing purgatory mode like i there's no way my free to play account can one shot that so my my junior account here my free to play account is just going to be sweeping that every single time which is fine if you can one shot hell boss or even two shot it compared to you know the hard boss you're going to be doing really well so let's check on purgatory boss here and let's see if the summoners can do it on purgatory mode my heroes are all uh, level 240 at this point senway's got a tiny bit of hyper evolution oh this isn't even the correct team 
Why do you do this, Eternal Evolution? Why am I not using the same team I just did? You drive me crazy sometimes. Uh, all right, what was I doing? Let's get our team back in there. You, you, uh, and who is the other one? Who am I missing? No, I wanted you, why did I do that? You, 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 that's it, right? Let's try that. All right, let's go ahead and put our stuff back in. Pain rune, that's our highest there, and that's our flashpoint. Okay, so most of that's saved. Is this our, this is our damage one, so we actually don't really love Masrani up front. Uh, why don't we try to get, yeah, there we go. Back damage, support health, bigger heals. Let's give this a shot, see how we do. 2.5 against 3.6, I kind of like my chances here. So one thing you may want to keep in mind here is Masrani's heal is not incredibly intelligent. And if you're using the Flashpoint Divine prototype where you can build up a shield on everybody, you may want to actually manual it. That way he's healing everybody because he has a very large habit of just putting the circle around dead center whoever needs the heal the most, which you're then missing out on characters that could use a shield. If you're not using Flashpoint, it's not that big of a deal because you can't build a shield with those extra heals. Um, but you may, if you're really trying to push top end content, you might want to try to make sure you're putting him on a uh, manual. That way you can make sure that shield is building up. And it looks like Mighty Mighty Summoners might be able to one shot this, which would be wonderful because I think mainly they're not really taking that much damage because the turbine will always focus damage on the beasts and the summoned characters over the actual heroes themselves. So it looks like this is going to be a pretty solid one-shot for my summoning crew, but it kind of wonder if it's still going to work for a one-shot for hunters. Uh, we're definitely going to try it. I don't think my assassin crew, even with Ricker, is going to have enough to get through this, uh, but we'll throw in Bot, Emma... And Taylor here in a second and try to see if we can get it done there with only one healer might be able to get it done with two healers we'll play around a little bit see what it does that's what we're here for right so as you can see there I'm making sure that Masrani's heal hits everybody so the shields are building up and hey hey we one shot purgatory mode which I was not able to do uh, last time uh, for the last event so cool Cool. Old John Shard's 100 raffle tokens. Cannot beat that. So once the game loads up here, we'll jump right back in. And we can sweep now, which is really fun. So let's go ahead and see if you guys may not have quite as strong of a summoner lineup. If it can be done with single target. Boom, boom, boom. And then my other one I typically use is uh, my girl Falvea because I have her at a hyper evolution uh, and she hits like an absolute tank. Lover, lover, lover. All right, so let's do this front and hunter. So we'll put Falvea up there, you there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put our soaring medallion to increase damage. We'll stick with our flashpoint. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if Hunter's can one shot on purgatory mode also, or if it's kind of summoner specific. Oh, a ton of damage already coming out on the bot especially. And there's no summoned heroes to uh, build up any kind of damage mitigation. Yeah, bot's already dead. So let's see. I wonder if I put Masrani in front. Let's just try that real quick. See if Maserani can tank the damage. Uh, let's switch. Wasn't there one? Yeah, middle, support, front. Let's try that one. And we'll put you and you there to get the extra bit of damage. We'll try that. Let's see if this works. This will probably be the last test. Seems like Maserani's taking the damage way better. Make sure everybody gets the heal. And unless they start pumping out some damage, I, again, don't really know if this is going to pay off. Might be just sticking with summoners just based on the damage. 
Because I don't think I ever had a summoner dip below 50%. I don't know. Maybe you could run it with like a Leo. Yeah, they're already dead. I don't think this is going to work. So, stick with summoners. It seemed to be uh, a pretty cut and dry event with a summoner team. But now we can go ahead and sweep. Tons, tons and tons and tons of raffle. Uh, if you have an account anywhere like mine, just on the first day alone here, you're going to end up with an absurd amount of raffle tickets to start with. 508, and I'm still going to get another five there. Um, so this is all to get old John. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at him real quickly. He's kind of an intriguing guy from what I've seen so far. He's branded as a... I don't have him yet, duh. Uh, he's branded as a hunter, but he seems to have a lot of AoE into his kit. And he's another one of the heroes that's going to look at using attack speed to really build his damage. Um, so he, he looks kind of interesting. He's got a smoke bomb, which is actually going to slow enemies caught in it, which is a new mechanic to the game. Nobody else really slows. Uh, he's going to get a heavy round which is also in the ultimate. Uh, and he's also one that has a passive, unlike like all the assassins have it for the most part, but now he does too when he receives a fatal injury. He instead recovers attack percentage as HP and then immediately new, moves next to an ally in the back row, uh, which is kind of interesting. So he's like, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting whooped. I'm getting out of here. So very, very, very interesting. Oh, and he's also going to throw a smoke grenade before he bails. Pretty cool. So it could be a very cool character. Once I get him unlocked and get him geared up here a little bit, uh, we'll go ahead and make some videos on him so you guys know what to do with him. But make sure when you're in the raffle shop here, make sure you're getting all of your jackpot and all of your mega jackpot before you move on to the next one. Because you can see here, rounds one through five, you're going to get some limited cards and the mega jackpot. And then six through 10, gene hybrid shards. Make sure you get all of those before you move on to the next one. Make sure you get the mega jackpot and so on because as you go on through the rounds as you can see here the rewards aren't nearly as good so make sure you're getting all of the mega jackpot and the jackpot before you move on to the next level and there you go there's the video for tonight rise of heroes outstanding event ton of rewards follow my strategy and you're going to max it out so that's all i got for you tonight guys if you enjoyed the video big thumbs up please make sure you subscribe to the channel so you're not missing upcoming content and as always have fun and good luck so I got that going for me, which is nice.